You're allowed to have meaningless sex with a girl that you find at a bar, but this couple who probably does love each other can't make content for other people to see? Almost everyone who has a job is selling their body in one way or another, and I can think of many worse ways to sell your body, degrade literally, quite literally physically degrade your body, than just posting some titties online. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to tackle a little philosophical, thought-provoking topic because I have seen so much of this just filtered through people's mouths and ears and promoted as truth and accepted as fact and it's so odd to me. So I thought I would break down this little annoying nuanced topic today and that is the idea that you have to have low self-esteem or have something wrong with you or have some kind of trauma in order to be willing to do OnlyFans or that you can never be okay with doing OnlyFans, that it always has to be a drain on your psyche and your mental stability. I don't know how many videos I've watched recently because obviously the topic is super hot right now. A lot of girls are just jumping into OnlyFans and regretting it. And a lot of men on the internet, especially the ones that are very vocal, have a lot of very negative opinions about it. But first, I am so excited to announce our sponsor for today's video, which is Newer. I have been using Newer lights, especially the ring light, probably 10 years now. My my entire YouTube career. And I don't know how many people who have asked me, what kind of lighting do you use that I have sent over to newer, easily attainable on Amazon. They're just the best. But recently they reached out to me and they wanted me to check out their new ultra light, ultra high tech ring light. And I was happy to oblige. I love it so much. I've been using it for the last couple months and it is absolutely amazing. Even better than the original. Of course, as with all newer ring lights, it comes with a case. It comes with a remote remote, a phone holder, and a tripod, but all of the above have been upgraded on the new slim version. It's literally 0.7 of an inch. It's not even an inch thick. Whereas the older one seems to be about an inch and a half, plus you had those little panels on it where you could change the temperature of the light from a warmer light to a bluer light. Now you have this cool, really high tech, minimalist console right on the thin version that lets you control how warm or how cool your light is. The tripod is even better. The tripod has a lock mechanism. It just feels a lot more high tech. Rubber feet on the bottom, textured aluminum. I absolutely love it. I cannot get enough of this thing. The case that it comes in is nicer. It even has a little space on the bottom where you can hold the tripod for travel. It's amazing. And you might be thinking, well, it's a lot thinner. Is it less bright? It is just as bright, if not more bright. You can also control the brightness and the warmth through their app, which is so cool and so clutch. I don't have to get up from the spot and go tinker with it, then come back. I can just do it on my phone using the app. This thing has it all. I love every newer light, but this one is my favorite by far now. So whether you're looking to make TikToks or reels or just take a professional headshot or you're a full fledged content creator like I am, this is the light to use. It's the absolute best. I'll be linking it down in the description. Thank you so much to Newer for sponsoring this video and let's get back to it. But often in these videos, and I'll try to find the clip of the one I watched most recently. I'm really bad at this. I'm also really bad at scripting my videos. I can't do it. So this is gonna be a free thinking, semi-structured talk today. So if I find that, I will put that clip here. OnlyFans has completely ruined an entire generation. Dog, when I tell you, nuclear bombs couldn't even do nearly as much damage as what OnlyFans did to our society. Bro, I knew OnlyFans was getting bad when I seen people not even giving life a shot at the age of 18 and going straight to OnlyFans once the clock hit 12. But the guy basically said it as if it is straight fact that women who do OnlyFans or get naked on the internet or do anything like that must have low self-esteem. But in reality, there's no objective reasoning for this. It's just more of a societal norm and something that you would see more as a stereotype than something that actually has to be objectively true based on a thought process utilizing the Socratic method or any kind of objective measure whatsoever. First, let's start off with the fact that it's basically just moralizing. So if we disagree at this point, maybe you're never gonna agree with me and obviously tell me at what point you lose me if you do lose me or if you just wholly agree with me or disagree with me. I, I like to try to poke people people's brains and prod them and see if we can get them to 
think a little bit differently or a little bit more or a little bit harder than they usually do. Instead of just being like, yeah, that feeling rings true. That's probably the case and putting no other further thought into it. So anyway, let me know when I lose you. But this statement that women must have low self-esteem in order to do a job like this hinges on a morality. And now we can agree that morality is never objective. In fact, there's like a kind of overarching societal norm morality that's kind of like moral relativism where it's like this society thinks this thing and therefore we kind of adopt this overarching moral compass, but a lot of people have their own individual morality based on their own individual opinions. And most societies have this, but we can agree, right? That nothing is objective about any form of morality. The closest you can get to objective morality is still a moral framework that is not objective surrounding like what does the least harm or what does or doesn't harm other people or yourself. So since morality is not objective, there's no reason why someone would have to have low self-esteem to do this job because the job or the act of having sex in front of people, let's say, the, the hardest core version of doing OnlyFans, actually fucking in front of other people hardcore is not morally wrong objectively. Do we really wanna dive down the reasons why society might think it's morally wrong? Sure, let's do that real quick. Okay, so one of the reasons why society might think that it's morally wrong to you know, have sex in front of other people is because according to them, sex is supposed to be a bonding, loving experience between two people who love each other and are potentially going to raise offspring and those offspring need to be protected and not subjected to the tortures of having to watch their mom and dad fuck on camera or having other people know that their parents fuck on camera. Which we can go even deeper down into society and say that that's also a societal norm and not something objective. Because in the wild, animals be fucking in front of each other all the time and no one puts any moral weight on any of that. I'm sure the offspring of the parents see the parents fucking. I'm sure the parents see the offspring fucking. It's just part of nature and we are just another set of animals. We just happen to create a set of morals to try to live in a society where less bad shit and less animalistic shit happens to us. But I'm not even gonna dive deep into the reasons why or the origin story of why promiscuous sex became immoral because that's a whole religious thing that really once again has no objective weight and oh that would make this video a million years long and I'm already off topic so let's get back on topic so one could argue that it is morally wrong to subject your offspring to having to see your parents fuck because in our society we put that boundary of not sexualizing our kids and not including our kids in our sexuality and no incest and all that kind of shit, right? And then the other thing is you're not upholding the sanctity of a good relationship if you're promoting this private bonding experience to the entire world and letting someone else watch it. That one I feel like is a little more murky. It's more like, why is that the case? Let's say there's no offspring. Let's say there's no one else outside of the couple that can benefit negatively from the couple's sexual exploits being online. Why is that a bad thing? And people will be like, well, you're no longer making it a bonding experience. You're making it a degraded experience about lust. And yeah, if you're on this video and you don't do that, if you don't go out and have one night stands and fuck random girls because they're hot and jerk off and all this stuff, you're on the wrong fucking channel. You probably didn't even make it this far. So you have to admit that that is a little bit of a hypocritical notion to have there. You're allowed to have meaningless sex with a girl that you find at a bar, but this couple who probably does love each other can't make content for other people to see. So the problem there is the meaningless sex at the bar wasn't monetized and you didn't make money off of it. That just sounds like a bad business deal to me. I don't understand. So hopefully we have established that morality is not objective. It is subjective, meaning it depends on the opinion of the subject. And in society is really just relative, depending on the person, place, bubble, city, town, whatever, religion, whatever, right? So let's dive into what self-esteem usually means. I'll actually get my phone and we'll read the definition and then we'll break it down real quick to get a little deeper into this notion that you can't have self-esteem and do OnlyFans at the same time. By the way, next week is 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. I love America and freedom and freedom of speech and all that stuff. And I think this video is a good one to drop right before that. Also, just to double down on the whole OnlyFans thing, because as everyone knows, I am a a spicy creator. Links in the description if you want to actually help this content keep going because this content doesn't make any money. I'm still fully demonetized. But to double down on that, I'm gonna start playing a game on my videos. I want you guys to guess what color panties in this video I'm wearing and at the end of the video I will show you and we'll see if you got it right. I often don't wear panties so sometimes it'll be something else like the bra but you can already 
kind of see the bra right here. So cast your votes in the comment section and let me know at the end if you are right. Let's pull up the definition of self-esteem. Self-esteem is how we value and perceive ourselves. It's based on our opinions and beliefs about ourselves, which can feel difficult to change. We might often think of this as self-confidence. Your self-esteem can affect whether you like and value yourself as a person. So if you do OnlyFans, you can't like or value yourself as a person. Once again, this is another moral weight judgment. And in my opinion, it supposes that that person has the same morals that you do. So you're pushing your subjective morals that it's bad to have sex in front of other people. It's bad to make sex something that's more casual. It's bad to monetize sex. It's bad to show off your body to other people that has no objective basis in anything. You're pushing that onto other people. And the only way that they can have bad self-esteem is because they are going against their own morals. Like their morals and their values are clashing with their actions. And that usually is what creates bad self-esteem or bad image. It's like you want to be a certain type of person, but your actions speak otherwise. There's a cognitive dissonance there and you end up just disliking yourself or feeling icky about yourself because you're doing something against your morals. But once again, we established morals are subjective, not objective. So perhaps the person who's engaging in this just has different morals from you and doesn't see any objective reason like myself, why I would have to hide one tiny part of my body unless I'm in love with the person that I'm showing. With me so far, hopefully you guys are. Another common thing I hear often is that these people lacked dignity. Definition of dignity is the state or quality of being worthy of honor or respect. And yes, a lot of people do not have respect for girls who do OnlyFans or show their boobs or do pornography. This is a fact, but once again, that problem lies with the person not giving the respect and not the person being worthy of respect or not, because that once again is subjective. I would argue that you shouldn't really even care about a societal version of respect. You should care more about the respect that's like individualistic and gained from another person in an interpersonal relationship. I think there's two types of respect. There's like the overall, like we should give everyone respect that they're just another human being. And I think that should actually extend to everyone regardless of what they do for work. But then the more important respect is the respect that is hard earned between two people who care about each other and actually have a relationship and a mutual understanding. And I don't see how either of those gets tarnished by doing work that sells your body. And once again, that's another thing that people say. They'll just say, you're selling your body. And they'll say nothing else about it. They'll not qualify the thing that they're saying. They'll just say that as if that is supposed to hit you hard in the soul and make perfect sense to you. But once again, that's their morals. And by the way, almost everyone who has a job is selling their body in one way or another. And I can think of many worse ways to sell your body, degrade literally, quite literally physically degrade your body than just posting some titties online. Things like manual labor. But for some reason, a man being stuck in a manual labor job because he can't get any other work or for whatever reason, that is lauded and respected and not frowned upon. But a girl, even if she doesn't like doing it, like who's hooking or something and providing for her family and degrading her body, probably physically as well, not just mentally. Once again, because of societal standards, I can totally imagine a society where the moral rules are different and prostitutes are looked at like fucking Cleopatra. And anyone who doesn't do that or isn't sought after for that is looked down on as trash. It's the same as like when the kings used to be fat and fatness was a sign of being rich. So it was a sign of status. Societies change, they evolve. And once again, it's relative to the times and completely subjective. But tell me this, why is a construction worker who's degrading his body quite literally looked as a hardworking man who's just making ends meet for his family and a girl doing OnlyFans or even much worse, hooking is looked down upon as a piece of trash, not someone who is degrading her body to do what's best for her family. I personally think there might be a little bit more empathy for the hooker because of how bad society sees it. And I think if you're not religious and don't have that religious funnel of morality, you might actually see those two the same, but the only fans girl, well, that's because society sees it as almost glamorous and easy and nobody wants you to ever make money on your own with some Something that seems easier than what most other people are doing. This I think just boils down to straight jealousy in many aspects. People are just pissed off like they have been even when I was making content on YouTube and making money there that people might look on the outside like they're having an easier life than everyone else. And that just makes people angry. And I think they jump on the old religious morality of you have no dignity, you have no self-esteem, you have no respect for yourself. So you do these things that are so easy 
for you. And it's so easy that I could do it too. I just have a higher level of respect for myself. You see where I'm going? You see how easy that is to project onto others when you're a little bitter that you have to go to your nine to five and actually physically degrade your body instead of just showing your boobies. But you know deep down it's not gonna be that easy. And most people who just create porn or OnlyFans, they don't actually make a lot of money. So you're actually just being angry at the top 0.01% of people on the platform and the girls that you see thrown in your face on Instagram. And instead of being grateful for what you have and improving your life in any way that you can control, you decide to attack other people. And I'm not directing this at you. I probably should have said they, because I feel like most of the people who watch my channel are pretty chill. But you never know what's gonna go semi-viral and have a bunch of newcomers come in here and be like, oh my God, this girl is full of fucking shit. She's delusional. That's fine too. Post in the comments. If you're new here, you might not know that I always welcome dissenting opinions and I actually like to read the comments. So let's have an open discussion. But anyway, my main thought process here is that anytime someone says you lack respect for yourself, you lack self-esteem, or there's no reason to respect you, they are reflecting their morals onto you. They're not reflecting that person's morals back to them. What happens with girls who feel unfulfilled with OnlyFans or who start to feel drained with OnlyFans, they're either letting society society's morals weigh on them, or they do have conflicting morals, but decided to choose the money over their own morals, and that's where the low self-esteem can be created. Or perhaps they grew up with good, normal societal morals, and something happened to them, like a rape or sexual assault, that's kind of like the standard like daddy issues argument, so that they don't have the respect for themselves to uphold their own set of morals. But assuming that a girl has a certain set of morals, or that she doesn't have any morals because the morals is different from yours is just going to be incorrect a lot of the time. There is a type of person who can absolutely respect themselves and do pornography. And that doesn't mean that that person doesn't have morals or has loose morals, they just have different morals because that person is living and breathing right here in front of this camera talking to you two weeks before this video comes out. And that person is me. I personally have my own set of boundaries and morals and I find it very easy to have a career in OnlyFans when I put down hard boundaries where I would feel uncomfortable or where I would no longer want to do it anymore because of my own personal preferences and morals. As long as you have a strong set of morals, doesn't matter what they are and you're upholding them, you're probably going to have high self-esteem because you see yourself as someone that is reflecting the morals that you want to reflect. And even though it's becoming increasingly less rare, I do still think that it is rare that someone doesn't get that icky moral feeling about showing their body or showing something that's supposed to be private out in public. I don't know if it's because I think too much, overthink too much, as some people would say, but I just don't see the issue in doing that. And as long as my partner is happy, and by the way, I've been wanting to do a video a long time entitled how to date an OnlyFans girl and how you can make a relationship work with an OnlyFans girl. Not that you really want to. I know nobody wants it. Even though secretly you want to date like a super hot girl that makes tons of money. Why wouldn't you? But there are ways to uphold the sanctity of a relationship and your partner's boundaries and to date one of us people and still have a fulfilled, healthy relationship with a lot of private stuff between you two and a lot of bonding. So if you want to see that video, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on this video. I think I kind of got the point across what I was trying to talk about. And I have two more videos to film today because I am getting ready to go on vacation in Colorado. So if you guys want to see my very, very loose morals, links are down in the description. I also have above board things like Twitch that I do and Instagram is middle ground, you know. Obviously Instagram doesn't like my content, but I think you guys will. And as promised, let's go ahead and see what color panties I'm wearing today. Are you guys ready? By the way, little commotion for this outfit and for my work in the gym lately. Are you ready? What color did you think they were? Were you right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. If you like this kind of stuff, please do let me know. I am literally cutting the fat on this channel still, so anything that doesn't do really well, I will probably cut it out and not do it again. So if you like philosophical conversations, like it, comment, engagement is good. I'm looking at the analytics, so vote with your time, your words, and if you want to, your wallet in the description. Otherwise, have a wonderful weekend. Happy 4th of July, and I will see you guys next Friday, hopefully, if I get back and have enough time to film something. I think I will, I don't know. Maybe it'll just be an update video. Bye.